Hi, Casper. It's your daddy, Quentin. I know you're not born yet, but you'll be very soon. And just in case if I get busy or I forget to tell you things, I'm making this video for you. I guess I should start with me. I'm Quentin Lee, a filmmaker born and raised in Hong Kong. My dad was always working. My mom had a very busy social life. I was pretty much raised by nannies, and when I want to be a dad, I want to spend a lot of time with you. Ever since I came out when I was 18, I believe that as a gay person, it's really important for me to have a child because that's my way of changing the future. Quentin belongs to a whole long line of independent filmmakers, and certainly he is one of the most important ones in that group. He's a genius, but once again, he was a very unusual person. He was very radiant, he had passion, he was so open. And Quentin is one of the most influential Asian American filmmakers of his generation. You know, let's just, let's just go through the dialogue. This is Candy. She's a famous actress from Hong Kong. We're going to be shooting a movie together. Not only in LA, it's going to be in Hong Kong, China, possibly in other countries. So I wonder when he's out of town, who's going to take care of the baby? Enough about me. Let's get to you. Where did you come from? Parkersburg, West Virginia. So we're driving to uh, the OBGYN. It's the 21st week of the baby. Ultrasound, I'm so excited. Crystal is with me. Hi. <laughs> and this is Crystal. She's what we call a surrogate mom. She's like a magical mom you can hire to make a baby. There you are, smile for the camera. You know, however he wants to present me to the baby, I'll accept because it is, it's his baby. And uh, maybe our two boys will, will meet and be friends and have a good life. Now let's get to the people you'll be seeing a lot of. First up is your Auntie Andrea, a single mom, super great, so insightful, and we have such great times at film festivals. I know Quentin always wanted to have a baby, but I always thought he was joking. Like a few years back, I would get random calls in the middle of the night, um, partying in West Hollywood, calling me, said, Andrea, come on, let's have a baby. I'm like, but he would not understand I am at a certain age, a lady at a certain age, and um, I, that department is closed. You are having a baby, that is what's crazy. Why is that, why is that crazy? I think it's really, well, you know. Do you think he'll be okay? I'm, I'm hoping for the best. <laughs> <laughs> then there's the boy. The sun will come out tomorrow. The drunk singer is your Uncle Adrian. And the quiet cool one is your Uncle Viet. That's the thing, that when people are drunk, they're having fun, and now the party pooper, because who's drunk? My skill and ability is probably having fun. I'm driving. Well, I love Adrian, but Adrian is a party animal. We love you, let's eat and celebrate! He is a bad influence for Quentin. Adrian knows how to make Quentin party more than he should. You know, Adrian, I love you when you're drunk, but I hate you at the same time. <laughs> exactly, kind of. We love, we love and hate Adrian. Yeah. That is a love-hate relationship. Totally. Quentin and I have been going out for a very long time. And you know, you have friends that are so close, you start, you start to become on the same cycle. Well, that's what we're on. To you being a father. Cheers! Love you. What do I think about Quentin having a baby? I'll tell you something. They need TLC. And, uh, well, if we're out having fun all the time, I don't think he's going to be able to do it. Honestly, I'm worried for Quentin. Working in the entertaining business, it's a roller coaster. One day you get a call, you have to go to China, the next week you have to go to Europe. So it's not stable. And on top of it being a single parent, it's even harder. I, I think it'll work out fine. We just need to kind of work together a little. It's not about the money, money, money. Well, I love kids for five minutes. And that's it. And so <laughs> I think I'll definitely be around because Quentin will do a lot of movies and make me babysit. <laughs> no matter what happens, 
uh, I hope that I always bring that joy and happiness and spirit to him and his life and his son's life, Casper. But at the same time, I'm going to try my best to keep him alive and young and passionate. I'm, I'm not much of a baby person, but of course I'll be there if you need me, of course. I'm very interesting. <laughs> That's it for now. But there's so many cool people I want you to meet and so many cool places we'll go. So stay tuned. We'll be back. <laughs>